Hi everybody, it's Tiago here. I was the guitar player for Shadow Work and for the last couple of tours, the solo tours Warrow did. And, and I wrote much of the material which is going to be included in the album with him. I was maybe one of his last writing partners. So uh, I'm still trying to digest what happened and, and even the passage of Warrow throughout my life which is, has been quite a ride. Um, I remember it was like 14, 12, 11, I can't remember really, and I used to watch Brazilian MTV and I watched, I saw this video once, it was like this big blonde tall guy with this strange glove, which, which was like, wait, what, what, what's, what's that with, the, with that glove? And it was Sanctuary with Waro, and it was the first time I ever saw him, and he had this it, it was a video for a future tense, and it was like these very high pitched screams, and, and I was like, wow, what's this band? And and it was the first time I ever saw him, and I, 15 years later, there here I am working with the guy. So I knew the music, I knew it was quite influential on me, especially because of the heaviness of the seven string guitars. And they had a proper singer and someone with a voice that you could identify anywhere. He, when I first met him, it was quite a shock because he was, he had some health issues and he was looking way older than I saw in the videos and he was quite frail. And we, we did some rehearsals and I thought, wow, he, he's, got, he's not gonna pull it, it's not gonna work. And then as soon as we got on stage and he stepped on stage, he became like this monster singer. This brilliant frontman that could get a crowd into, to do whatever he wanted them to. It was incredible. It was magic. And this was the first tour we ever did was something I would never forget. Never, ever. It was so incredible, so special, someone I met. And at the same time, he was a very humble, very simple guy. It was quite eccentric, and we we never knew what to expect from him. And it was like this very simple person, and we were nobody. And he kind of just embraced us as he, we were his family, and we were with him to the bitter end. And there's some things I really think when I think about Waro is that he was someone quite detached from reality. He was someone who was like elsewhere all the time. He had his, his own little world. And even though he was someone quite quite detached from reality, he was someone with a very deep grasp of the human condition. And then everything he put, poured out on his words, his lyrics, on his performances, on his dramatic, very recognizable voice, Everything was very unique, and every time we traveled, it doesn't it didn't matter where we went to Europe or wherever, there were always always these people who were very touched by his words and by his singing and his music, and it gave them hope and it gave them healing, and maybe that was what he was. He was a healer, and it, it is. This moment, I didn't, I didn't want to say much about him, but I guess it's gonna take me years to really try to understand who he really was. See you guys. Fantastic music.